Hey guys, it's Jane. So I'm here to do the if you tag. Um, yeah, so I had to like write down my answers because I had to really think about some of my answers. So I wrote them down so I can get my thoughts together. So, all right, so let's get started. So first question is, if you can trade songs from your bias group with another group, what song would it be? And I decided to pick BAP's One Shot and BTS is dope. So BTS would get one shot, BAP would get dope. Can you imagine BTS doing one shot though? Like really, cause that dance is probably one of the like, one of their, like BAP's one of like most hardest choreography cause it's really like, you're like literally like on the floor a lot of the times. And I'm just trying to imagine like Jin and Rap Monster doing the choreography for one shot and then like can you I mean I can kind of see BAP doing dope I can kind of see it so yeah I would give so yeah so yeah one shot and dope okay um number two is if you can make your group re-record an album what album would it be this one's a tough it was kind of like a tie for me so I decided to pick Four minutes, act seven, because it was too damn short. I'm sorry, four songs, not a mini album. That's a single album. Like, to me, like, I like act seven, but it's just, I don't understand why it was only four songs. And just like, you you know, going from Crazy, which was a really good mini album, to act seven, it was kind of like, eh. But yeah, I just really wish it wasn't so short. It's like like four songs and the other um, album I picked was 2 p.m. 1 59 p.m. only because it's like drowning in auto-tune like drowning in it I'm sorry I love 2 p.m. I'm a hottest but you can't sit there and act like that album was not like just soaked in auto-tune I mean I think at that time like everybody was doing it so could because it was really popular over here in the states and then when over there they got wind of it then everybody was doing auto-tune but yeah like just listen to a lot of songs it was like really really in auto-tune so number three if you could erase an album from a group's discography what would it be um i would pick bap's unplugged 2014 only because it's just like if you're going through like the entire discography that album just doesn't fit like it's just it's it was like something left like i know they did it like right after first sensibility but just going from like warrior to one shot and you know first sensibility and then they did that and like it just seems a little left it didn't it just seems it just didn't seem to fit their sound really but that's just me so I would kind of erase that one um number four if you can have a k-pop group do a Korean cover of a western song what song would it be so I picked Mamamoo and I would have them cover Little Mix's DNA like I am a huge fan of Little Mix like I watched their season when uh when they're on the X Factor, I really like Lil Mix and DNA is like my favorite song from them. And knowing that Mama Moo, they have very everybody knows that their vocals is like insane and so is Little Mix. So just seeing, cause like can you imagine Mama Moo doing DNA? Like if you haven't listened to DNA, I would go check it out. But like more so check out the like acoustic version of it really really good so I would really like to see if it was to happen to see Mama Moo cover DNA by Little Mix um okay number five number five right here yeah if you can take a group from one label and put them on another what label and what group um I would take winner from YG and put them on FNC only because 
like, I mean, let's be real. When Winter debuted, a lot of people were scratching their heads because for the most part, most people that debut on YG are more hip-hop, R&B acts. With the exception of Psy. But th that's for the most part. And I love Winner. I really do. But I just feel like... Let's be real. Why, they can do better than YG because YG be tripping these days. So, um, the fact that he had them wait so long for a comeback is just... But, and then with FNC, it's like you have, um, C and Blue, FT Island, who are, like, really, like, basically, like, the successful bands in K-pop, or those two groups. And then you have n Fly, who has, like, a hip-hop and rock kind of vibe, and that's kind of, like, you know, winner. So they do, they incorporate different sounds, but, you know, they've done kind of, like, like, rock-ish sounds and stuff like that so i can i can see winner on fnc okay um number six if you can make your own group who would you have in the following position so there's two lead vocals one rapper one maknae one leader one dancer and a visual so for vocals i picked luna from fx and Changman from TVXQ because, duh. And I really, I kind of feel like before Sully left, like Luna kind of didn't really have much of a chance to shine. But, you know, I mean, obviously I really, you know, I like Sully, but I mean, let's, let's be real here. But you can definitely, you know, see Luna shining more with four walls. And Changman because it's Changman from TVSQ. Duh. Um, rapper. I kind of went a little left and I went with Yubin from Wonder Girls because she's one of my favorite female rappers. Um, leader. I picked Young Gook because I think he's a really good leader. I honestly think he's like one of like the best leaders in K-pop. Um, dancer. I picked Minzy because. Minzy's one hell of a dancer. Visuals, I picked... That one was tough, but I picked Hongbin from Vix because... Have you seen Hongbin? And Makne, I picked um, Jungkook from BTS. So yeah, I kind of... I want to kind of just like not have it like all guys or all females. So I tried to have, you know, a pretty decent amount of males and females in the group. Okay, number seven, if you could bring back a group that disbanded, who would it be? C-Clown. I know y'all like, really? But I really love the C-Clown, and I'm just, I'm kind of mad that they really didn't get much of an opportunity to, like, showcase what they, you know, what they can do. Like, part of me was really hoping that they would pull, like, a... EXID where like you know for a long time people was like where are they at where are they at and then it came out with up and down they blew up I was hoping the same would be for C Clown unfortunately that didn't happen but if that was an opportunity for them to come back I would really love C Clown to come back because I really like them they were like one of my favorite groups um next is number eight if you can have any international artist perform with the group or solo artist, who would you be? Now, this is going to be another, like, who? Um, there's a group called Neon Jungle. They're from the UK. Um, so there's four girls. Uh, they all sing, but there's also two girls that rap. So the same with 21. You know, see on Menzi rap, but they also sing. And that's like the only group that I can think of that can kind of match up to 21. In a sense, like I know you have like, you know, Fifth Harmony and Little Mix and stuff like that. But I couldn't really see those groups coming, you know, doing kind of doing something with 21. Kind of like, you know. I'm trying to word it right, but you know what I mean. Trying to, you know, 
it just makes sense because those two are like really like strong groups. Like if you haven't, if you don't know who I'm talking about, just YouTube Neon Jungle. Um, one of their songs, Braveheart, or Welcome to the Jungle or Trouble. Those are three like my favorite songs from them. But yeah, I can definitely see something between Neon Jungle and Twenty One. Um, number nine. If you could have a group that lost members come back, who would it be? TVXQ. Hands down, TVXQ. Um, and I'm not even like a hardcore Cassie. I am a, I am a really big fan of TVXQ, but I'm not like, you know, deep in the fandom like that. But I would really, really, really love to see the five of them together again. Whether it's for a performance or a song, anything. I would love for all five of them to be back together. Um, okay, number 10. If you were able to put together a once-in-a-lifetime concert, who would be on the lineup? Um, this one was tough because I tried to, like, shake it up a little bit and not have, like... I try not to be YG by it because then it'll just be a YG family concert. So I have BTS, Big Bang, 21, 17, FX, J Park, Crush, Girls Generation, Shiny, and Vix. And trust me, there's other groups I would love to add, but we only had them from between 7 to 10 acts. So that would be an interesting concert to see. Um, number 11 is if you could have two companies collaborate on a project, who would it be? So I picked JYP and YG because I know they do. I know that they're really close. Um, and I would love to see like, let's see, like Icon and Twice do something. Um... Maybe winner in day six, two p.m. and twenty-one. Um, Lehigh and fifteen and I don't know Tang and G Soul. Uh, or like Wonder Bang can come back together. You know that they haven't done to get anything together in like God knows how long. So like Big Bang and Wonder Girls. So that would be cool. Um, number twelve is if you can have two idols that dated. But broke up on We Got Married, who would it be? Okay, I'm about to be really shady, but <laughs> I would pick Gigi and Kiko. Now, here's the thing like, we know that they've been on and off for years, but they kind of pulled the Jay Z and Beyonce. Like, they never officially said that they were dating, but we know they were dating. Hell, for all we know, they can be back together for all we know. But if that was in any luck, if I can, if that was to ever happen, I would love to see them two on the show. And, you know, I don't watch, really keep up with, like, variety shows, but I would definitely watch that show if those two was on it. Um, number 13, if you can erase one idol scandal forever, um, who would it be and what scandal? And this was another one that was tough because there are quite a few idols that I, like, that has some scandals. But um honestly, I decided to pick Day Song in his car accident. I feel like I'm about to be the move down. But on um, I mean but in all seriousness, just the act hearing about the accident when I got in the Big Bang and hearing about the accident and hearing like the really like really mean and nasty, disgusting things people said about Day Song and that people still bring it up to this day really makes me mad and even though we know it's an accident um and how it really affected him it's it, he probably even since like ever since the accident it's, it's definitely affected him since and i know that he's like he said he contemplated suicide like it got really bad so i mean honestly i know if that didn't happen we pretty much wouldn't have wings we wouldn't really have the Alive album if it wasn't for Daesung's accident or like 
GD scandal, like Sungri scandal. We wouldn't have the last album, but I just, if I really had it in my power to make the whole accident go away, I would. Because I don't want to see my day sung go through that. Anyways, so enough of this sad shit. Okay, so last question, number 14. If you can swap members from one group with another, who would it be? Um, this one's hard. So, I decided to go with Jackson and Chanwoo from Icon. So, I decided to change. Yeah, so, like, Jackson from Got7, put him in Icon, and take Chanwoo from Icon, put him in Got7. I kind of feel like Chanwoo will fit in. To Got Seven, cause like his personality and stuff like that. Not saying he doesn't fit in with Icon, but I think he will, you know, fit in with I uh Got Seven. Jackson, I think he would fit in with Icon. I mean, he definitely has like a larger than life personality, and I mean, I can I can see it. I can see you know Jackson being an Icon. I don't see why not. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Good, it's only been 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's just as of my answers. This was pretty much this was really fun. I'm I'm glad that Shower360 asked me to be a part of this um tag and I'm glad that I got to do it. Um yeah, so that was that. That was the if you tag. Um and I hope you guys do it. I know it's probably going to take you a minute to do it because, you know, all these questions and stuff. But again, if you guys decide to do the tag, let me, Alex, or shout out these 60 know so we can watch your videos because we would really love to watch your videos. And yeah, and anything else? Oh, um, I just put up a video today. I think it th I think it's up on my YouTube. But my BAP, my top 10 BAP performance performances video I did. And I have something else coming up for you guys in a few weeks. I think you guys will like it. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Again, I, go I hope you guys do the tag. And I will check you guys later. Bye.